running back, C.J. Donaldson. So C.J. taking back to the injury, um, two of them, scary at that point. And then when the, the, the leg one came, did you think you'd be able to practice this spring? Because you did a whole lot more than I think a lot of people have seen. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to our strength, uh, strength staff and uh, our training room uh, staff. They uh, prepared me very well to be able to play today. Uh, I think I was ahead like one month of the process of me returning. I was like one month ahead. I was walking in early December. I wasn't supposed to start walking until late January and running towards like the end of spring. So I want to give a big shout out to those uh, those people who helped me along the way. Any fear when you started getting hit? That, you know, last time I did this, I was uh no you can't really think about it like that you know you just gotta go you gotta enjoy it as i said like uh, i remember when i first got hurt i took it kind of for granted uh just playing the sport because i'm not used to being hurt if that made sense i played receiver all my life i'm used to catching the ball and running out of bounce but uh throughout that process it just made me hungry it just made me want to play more each and every day just seeing the team run out the tunnel and i'm just one on the sideline not being able to play it just kept me hungry so the other than fall camp last year you never really carried the ball at all Pee-wee football or anything coming up? Uh, my coach, he's right here, uh, Coach Corey, he was the first person to ever put me at running back. He told me since that day I was going to play running back. And that was like, uh, I think I played 9U at Gwyn Cherry Park. That was my first and last time playing running back. Well, first and last time playing running back. Yeah, to now. To yes, sir. Yeah. So you needed, to, you needed to have the reps this spring to, to really build my confidence. body accustomed to being running back. Right, uh, building my confidence now, just learning like uh, like different hits. Like I'm not used to being hit low a lot. I'm just learning like those little things to brace my body and protect my body but and what thing. Hits or fall on the ground, all those things are all new to you, right? Right. Are you learning or the guy has been helping you with that? Uh, Coach Scott has been teaching me like ways to protect myself by applying force instead of allowing the force to hit me, if that made sense. Like right. just applying force to the defenders. Don't take the hit, deliver the hit. So right. just little things like that. How about falling? I remember... Pat White and Rasheed Marshall used to tell me about ways that they would fall to learn how to fall so that you didn't hurt a finger or an ankle or anything like that. Are you learning those things? Yeah, Coach Scott just say fall, like fall, like get down. Don't <laughs> just fall, get down. <laughs> That's what he tell me. <laughs> so those little things right there just help me protect my, protect my body and uh, continue playing this game that I love. What about vision? I mean, again, you have been a running back, you know, keen on a, a linebacker or some of the things that you're yeah, we uh, work on eye control every day in a running back room in Indy. Eye control is a big part of our game. Uh, to be able to run this ball, to, to be able to be a running back in this uh, program, you have to have great eye control, if that made sense. I don't want to give up all our schemes and all our tricks. You know, they be listening. <laughs> I can't give it all up. So just little things like great eye control. Uh, but one person that really helped me a lot was uh, Jalen Anderson. As y'all say, I think he probably has the best vision in the room, if that made sense. Like, he know how to make some great cuts. So, he just, I've just been watching his game and critiquing it and just taking a little bit and applying it to my, you know, downhill runner game. But how do you keep from tipping guys off, you know? Guys that watch and study football will know if you're leaning one way or you're looking one way, you have to remind yourself, hey, I can't tip off plays or tip off things that I'm doing. Uh. No, not really, because uh, most of our alignment is pretty the same. So it's kind of it's kind of hard for like people to really figure out what the play is from from the defense side of the ball. Because I heard uh, a few of our linebackers say like y'all never change alignment, so we know we never know what play y'all running. So little things like that. Is there any significance to to the number change, or is it just getting a better number? Uh, I've been I've been wearing number four since uh, little league, since uh, Optimus football, and that's just a number I always wanted to wear. And then, like, my little nickname besides CJ is C4 because I used to always run go routes, which is technically a bomb. So it's just like play hand to hand. <laughs> Playing multiple positions. I mean, obviously, running back last year, but how much more can you do? Are, are they starting to slot you out more, throw you the ball more? You did that a little last year, but not as much as, as maybe the future. Uh, right now, uh, when we came back from. Uh, uh, our break in December, Coach Brown wanted me mostly to focus on just like the running back schemes because I don't have that many reps at running back. Only I played seven games and five full games. So he just wanted me to uh, work on my technique at the running back position, just like get a natural feel for it to where I could be more comfortable back there instead of being nervous, just little things like that. What's your plan personally for this break period and then even 
what you think you need to do before the season actually kicks off? Because as you mentioned, you still don't have that many reps. Right. Uh, one thing, uh, just you know, great balance. Because running backs, we take a lot of difficult hits from the side, from you know, cut low, get just having great balance, a great vision. And one thing I want to improve on is my speed because I don't think a lot of people know that I'm a runner. Like I can run the ball for real. <laughs> so that's one thing, just improving my speed and just take care of my body. Biggest eye-opening thing for you changing from being a receiver to a runner? The biggest eye-opening? Eye biggest shocker, surprise for you when you had to carry the ball for the first time and get tackled and – so my first game against Pitt, I didn't really get hit that much. I didn't know like hits feel like this. Like I'm not I'm not scared of contact or anything like that, but I didn't know like okay, 11 people can this this really can feel like this. But my second game against Kansas, that's when I kind of had that wake up call like okay, like running back like like you get hit, you get hit. So that's just one different thing like 11 people actually attacking me. Like I'm not used to getting hit by D linemen. I'm used to hit hit by linebackers and corners and safeties and stuff like that, but Thing, time you realized, okay, this is what it's right. like to be a running back. Right, and then like Dante, you know, I went against Dante Steele's last year. He was a powerhouse. Like he, he, he walked with me to college football too. <laughs> was Texas scary? What happened um, yeah, it was very scary. Looking uh, outside in, like now that I'm looking at how like people reacted to it, like a lot of people didn't know what was going on. Like they were just watching on the TV. They just like. That was a very scary uh, experience, especially my mom. She was, like, in shock because that was, the, like, one of her first games that she missed. She never misses a game. So that was a, like, big shock for her. She was calling, trying to see what was going on. But I'm just thankful that I um, still have the opportunity to play this game that I love. You know, you mentioned Jaheim as being a quick fan favorite. You know, what have you seen from him, young guy, and what does the future hold for a guy like that? Uh, he's just hungry. He just, he just want to get out there on the field. He's just ready to play. Like, Coach Scott, he'll call him, Jaheim, you ready? Call him ready. Just put me in the game right now. <laughs> he's just like a young kid. Uh, he's still learning. He has great speed, uh, great athleticism. He has great vision. But um, as the season continues going on, he's going to put in, put on some muscle, build some confidence to where he's going to play his game. And I think he's going to be a great addition to this team. Hey, CJ, you said you weren't going to give away the secrets, right? But eye control, what are you not working on? But I guess you're not going to tell me what you're working on. But like, what are you emphasizing or trying to perfect when you guys are doing that? I'm trying to be careful. I know you're not going to get this one. I can't get this well, one. I can't, I can't get this one out. I can't. Uh, what's, what's the goal, though? Like, you're, it's, you know, if you go out and try to catch passes, you work on your hands, right? right. Things like that. But, like, what's that? The goal so, eye control is basically, like, not missing a gap, if that made sense. Because, you know, like, today, y'all saw we ran counter today, right? Like, just eye control, not trying to miss the gap, if that made sense. Like, going through your reads all the way. That's what I mean by uh, eye control. Okay. Thank you very much, CJ. Thank you. all Y'all have a good day.